Hey guys, it's Preston, and today I am covering our last piece of intel, uh, the, the Brotherhood of Heroes documentary. Um, in this video, I'll also be doing a recap of all the intel that we received this week. The, the Brotherhood of Heroes documentary, it was mainly about the creation of the game and kind of the legacy that they want to follow. So we didn't learn a whole lot about the game through this, but I, I do feel like it was a good video. It had a lot of emotion behind it which made me ex excited for the game. I really, I don't know, the video just was emotional. I always, I do feel a sense of patriotism. And so, like whenever I watch Saving Private Ryan or something, I always feel very patriotic at the end and emotional. And, and I feel like this game is, is definitely gonna cover that. That it's actually gonna tell a story and it's gonna relate to people and it's gonna make people feel for these people. One part of the, the documentary that I really liked was it talked about so those people that, that were alive during World War, World War II, they are, you know, they're passing away. And it's up to a new generation to understand World War II and to understand what they went through and the sacrifices that they made um, in the name of, of freedom. And I felt like that was, that was a very powerful line. They did say this game is a very personal game, and I, I believe that. I believe that this story is going to invoke a lot of feelings in people. I'm not one to cry in things, but I don't know. I, I kind of hope that this game will will do something like that. In the documentary, one of the, the directors, he said that they want to show the lesser known confl conflicts of World War II. Right now, that doesn't seem to be the case. They have the Battle of the Bulge, which is one of the biggest offensives of the war. Uh, the D-Day landings, another one of the biggest ones, and the liberation of Paris, which all sound pretty dang big, so I hope they throw in a couple other things. If they do do the French resistance, then they already have covered that in Call of Duty 3. So I hope they throw in other things if, you know, they really mean that. Uh, and then I was correct about the Ardennes Forest and it being the Battle of the Bulge. Uh, he, he straight out said that the Ardennes, they went over a couple locations and the Ardennes forest is, they were talking about the Battle of the Bulge and how that's going to happen and, and the, it was Hitler and the Nazis last chance to divide the allies and push them back into the sea and um, spoiler alert, he, they failed and within six months the allies were in Berlin liberating it. So just to, to recap over everything we've gone over this week, first off with the, the story trailer. I speculated that we it would we would see the D-Day landings. Um, it was confirmed that we're following uh, American soldiers, and we learned that in the app, in the squad thing. The the winter scenes are from the Battle of the Bulge, and uh, I do revoke my statement about those swastika banners. I do not believe that's in Berlin. I do not think we'll be seeing Germany at all. I think it's straight going to be Paris or, or France. I believe that those swastika banners will be in France. Um, like we learned in the Meet the Allies trailer, that Rousseau and Crowley will be infiltrating uh, the garrison as officers. I believe that's where the swastika banners will be. Um, that was it for the, the story trailer. Next up is meeting the squad. We were introduced to four members of the squad. Now, I didn't talk about this before. But I, I didn't even think about this. Are we going to take the position as one of those characters? Or are we going to be our own character? Are we going to be someone else? I, I do think that we will receive a fifth squad member that we will play as. And, and backstory will develop for them. But the, the four squad members that we know of are uh, Red, Zussman, Turner, and Pearson. In, in this, we, we do see some conflict between Pearson and Joseph. Joseph does end up punching Pearson. Uh, I speculate that it's because Pearson doesn't want to go back for Zussman while Joseph does. So that's what I believe about the Meet the Squad trailer. Oh, and, and the Jewish uh, member in your squad that is taken by the Germans and, and hit in the head by the officer is Zussman. And last is the meet the allies trailer we were introduced to two new people 
Rousseau, which is a French resistance fighter, and Crowley, which is a special operations executive operative, and, and his job was to train and aid resistance movements in France. So we were also confirmed that Paris would be in the game, and um, while you're in Paris, you will team up with these two allies, uh, Rousseau and Crowley, in infiltrating a Nazi garrison in Paris. So that's about it, guys. That's everything from the this past week. Uh, I, I don't believe we'll be getting any more intel for uh, until, until the game's released. We're almost to a month away. We're about 45 days away from, from getting the game. I'm really excited for it. I like... I, I said this before in every single video, but all this intel, this week of intel, has just strengthened my opinion of the game, and I, I don't normally play Call of Duties for the story. I never play Call of Duties for the story, but I feel like this game will have a very strong story, uh, a very strong campaign, one that, that people will, will feel for, and that people will want to play, not because of the aspects of the game, you know, all the action, the graphics, but they'll want to play it for the story that this tells. So, hopefully they don't let me down. Later this week on Sunday, I will release um, more Call of Duty news. Um, if anything comes out in between now and Sunday, then I will release that as well, anything big. If not, I'm just going to leave it up to Sunday. I already have a couple things I'll talk about on Sunday, such as the, the Carrington map that was leaked. So, uh, be looking forward to that video on Sunday. And I'll see you guys later.